Alright, now Bixby as a virtual assistant may be infamous among the Samsung community, but Bixby routines? That's something we all love. Because this feature offers enormous system automation possibilities which make life on the phone a lot easier. So in today's video, let me show you 10 useful Bixby routines which we can create on the phone. This will be part 1 of this video, second part will be posted soon. If you're new here, consider subscribing and smash that like button to keep that like meter rolling upwards. Let's target at least 500 likes for this video. Now, let's get started. To access Bixby routine, all you need to do is go to settings, go to advanced features. We have Bixby routines here, tap on this. As you can see, we have discover, add routine, my routine. Now what we're going to do is we will tap on add routine. This is where we can set if condition and then condition. In other words, if we'll add what we trigger the routine, then we'll add what the routine would do. Now let me go to my routines, which I have already created. The first one is camera and brightness. Let me just tap on this. Now generally when we open the camera, the brightness level may not be sufficient on the viewfinder. And you may need the brightness to go up as and when you turn on the camera. For that, you can set this routine. The if condition is app opened and then condition is brightness. Let me show you how exactly we can do this. Let's go to add routines. I'll tap on plus button here. Under event, we have app opened. Let me tap on this. Now we can search for the camera application here. I will select camera. I'll tap on done. Now the then condition. Now what this routine is going to do is it will increase the brightness. Let me tap on plus. I'll go to display brightness. Here we can increase the brightness depending on your needs. I will increase it to let's say 50% uh, or maybe 60%. I'll tap on done. Now even when your phone's default brightness is low, of course when you have turned on the auto brightness, the brightness would go up automatically as in when you turn on the camera. We have an option to reverse the actions, which means the brightness will go back to the original settings. You can keep this switch turned on. Let's tap on next. Here it will ask you to save a routine name. I will type camera and brightness. If you want to choose any color or if you want to choose any symbols here, you can choose that and then tap on done. You got this all new routine here. Now as in when you turn on the camera, the brightness level will go up and when you exit the camera application, the brightness will go back to the default settings which you have already set on the phone. That is just brilliant. This is the power of big speed routines. Now likewise, I have set few more routines here. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. The steps to create these routines would be same as the first one we have already created. I'm going to tell you the if and then conditions for these routines. I've created a driving routine here. Let me tap on this. As you can see, if driving, which is of course will be detected as and when you sit inside the car, the Bluetooth will get connected and the driving mode will be detected. Then condition is open an application or do an app action. You can select any applications here or you can also select an app action which are available under some of the applications here. Just select that and tap on done. I have selected Spotify to be opened as and when the driving is detected. So as and when I get inside the car, I can access Spotify without having to open the app myself. That is a cool routine, isn't it? Now the next one is button action for flashlight on. Let me tap on this. As you can see, the if condition is button action. Here it says choose a button or key and how to interact with it to run this routine. This will override any action set for the selected button in settings. Switch your navigation from gestures to buttons if you want to use navigation buttons for routines. Now what I have done here is I have selected side key. The interaction is press and hold. When I press and hold the side key for a second or so, the flashlight will be turned on. Unfortunately, we don't have an option to reverse this action. We will have to go to the flashlight toggle and turn it off. I wish there was an option to create another routine to turn off the flashlight as well. We just have turn on flashlight option. I would love to create another routine, maybe like double tap on the power button to turn off the flashlight. That would have been great, but unfortunately we don't have it. Anyways, now let's go to the next one. I have named this unlock with fingerprint. As you can see, if condition is unlock with fingerprint, let me just show you how we can do that. Uh, tap on plus. All the way down, we have got unlock with fingerprint option under routines plus. Let's select that. Here it is going to show you different fingerprint options. You can create a specific fingerprint for this action and then select that fingerprint here. Now I have selected fingerprint three here and 
I'll tap on done. And the then condition is open an app or do an app action. I've selected create message app action, which is available under messaging app. Now I lock the phone and I'll use this fingerprint, which I selected for this particular routine. As in when it gets unlocked, you can see it is directly going to new conversation on the messaging app. That is fantastic, isn't it? You can select any application or any app action, which can be opened directly using a particular fingerprint. This is just brilliant. I'm sure you're going to use it a lot. Go ahead and create this routine right away. Now let's move to the next one. This is reading mode. If condition is app opened, you can select any particular app here. I have selected Google News. Whenever I open this application to read news, I want Eye Comfort Shield to be turned on. So if condition is app opened, select news and Eye Comfort Shield turn on. That is the then condition or the then result. As you can see, when routine ends, reverse these actions, the Eye Comfort Shield will be turned off. It will be back to the normal mode on the screen. The display will be back to the normal mode. That is another cool routine we have here. The next one is incoming call beep. Here, the if condition is incoming call. You can select a particular contact for the incoming call or you can select from anyone. The then condition is beep once. What I've done here is I have selected a particular contact so that I get to know who is calling. So now when I get a call from this particular contact, the phone will only beep once. Whereas for the other calls, I'm going to hear the usual ringtone. This makes it easier to recognize a call from a particular person without even taking a look at the phone when you hear the beep. That is amazing. Now the next one is YouTube and data. As you can see here, the if condition is app opened. I have selected YouTube and the then condition is Wi-Fi off. Now this routine is not something which I use more often, but this is for the demonstration. I am showing it to you here. Now, just in case if you don't want to use YouTube on the office Wi-Fi or any particular Wi-Fi, then you can set this particular routine as in when you open YouTube application, the Wi-Fi will be turned off. And when you close the application, the Wi-Fi will be turned on. This of course depends on your requirement. Let's go back. We have got arriving at a location. This is again a brilliant one. You can automate a particular setting on your phone as in when you reach a particular location. Sounds good, isn't it? Here in the if condition, I have selected a particular location. Here we have two options. When I leave, when I arrive, I have selected when I arrive. And the then condition is sound mode and volume mode, sound mode vibrate, ringtone 0%, notification 0, system sound 0. This is the then condition I have set. Let me show you how to execute this particular routine. Now I will tap on plus. Under place, we have got this place tab, just select this. Now we have options like my current location, work, home, pick a place. Now let me pick a place here. I will select a particular place. And then here we have two options, when I leave, when I arrive. Now depending on your needs, you can set this. I have set when I arrive, done. Here we have sounds and vibration, sound mode and volume mode. I have selected vibrate. Tap on done, next. Name the routine and tap on done. Here we have a routine for arriving at a particular location. Now the next one is message received from a contact. Let me select this. The if condition here is message received from a particular contact. The then condition is read notifications allowed. As in when you get a message from this particular contact, the phone is going to read the notifications allowed. Let me know what do you think about that. The last routine we have for this video is battery level 20%. This is going to be a very nifty feature for most of you guys if you want to conserve battery when the battery level reaches a particular percentage. As you can see, I have selected battery level below 20. We can select any particular level you want. You can select 10%, 30% or whatever you want here. You can select either below, equal to or above. Now, uh, I have created this by selecting below. Now the then condition is power saving mode turned on, mobile data turned off, screen resolution HD+, auto sync off, brightness 25% max, location turned off. So as and when the battery level reaches below 20%, these settings in the then conditions will be executed and that is going to save or conserve a lot of battery here. Make sure you set this up as well. Now when the routine ends, reverse these actions. So all these actions will be reversed as I'm going to charge your phone to take it about 20% level. That was the last routine which I want to show you guys. I'm sure some of you are already using such routines and if you're new on Samsung or if you're new to Bixby routines, 
Try this out. This is a mind blowing feature which Samsung offers on their phones. That's all I want to share with you guys. The next episode will come very soon. That would be the part two of this video. Stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe and smash that like button if you find this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.